Hello, good evening and welcome back to the video lecture series. My name is Satyam Johan from Atme Institute of Technology and Science Rajkot. Uh, here in the last session of Basics of Engineering Drawing, we are again uh, gathered to join uh, to see the lecture on isometric projection. Uh, la in last session, we have discussed that what is isometric drawing, uh, what is it means, what is the difference between isometric view and isometric projection? What is isometric axis, isometric lines, isometric plane? And we learned that how to create the basic isometric view of the sum of the geometry. For example, we have seen how to draw rectangle, circle, etc. and square, etc. that how to draw in isometric. So we learned that in order to create isometric drawing, we need to draw first isometric axis. That is axis in 30 degree. So if I use my hand as axis, we can say uh, one axis is L, that is L, it's written as L, one is D. So one will be in this direction. So it means depth. So it will show the depth and my thumb will represent height. So D, L and H. So we can easily remember three axes as D, H and L. Instead of our usually orthographic axis, the isometric axis is different in a way that it is drawn in 30 angle, 30 degree angle. So it will be 30 degree to each other. And the vertical axis will be as vertical and rest of two axis will be 30 degree. So this is the simple method we can remember that how to draw isometric axis. Isometric lines are those lines who are perpendicular to the axis. So any line drawn perpendicular to the axis is called isometric lines and isometric plane so if we consider the body of a 3 3d geometry and the faces will be the front bottom or the top or bottom front and behind and left and right these are the faces of the isometric and they the faces are called isometric planes in today's session we will see that how to construct is isometric drawing uh, by the method, the same method we used, we learned the last session, we will continue and we will uh, draw some few problems. So there is no particular way to, uh, I, we can say that to draw isometric drawing. One can use their own interest or one easy method to draw the isometric drawing. Let us see and further we'll see what are the isometric problems. So, when a cube is kept in a particular position, then it gives isometric axis, isometric lines and isometric planes. So, last time we have seen that the baseline we use to draw the isometric axis. So, in this figure, <coughs> GH and GF will be our isometric axis and GC will give us the third axis. So these three will be the isometric axis. And the faces we are see we can observe these faces are called isometric planes. So in a particular position, when cube is resting on HP on a corner G and diagonal EC is perpendicular to VP, the isometric axis, as I mentioned, CB, CD, and CJ, meeting at a point C, making an angle of 120 degree. So these are called the isometric axis. So any drawing between the 120 degree will be the isometric drawing. The isometric lines, any lines parallel to the isometric axis are called the isometric lines. So by definition, and isometric planes. The planes represented by the faces of the cube are called isometric planes. Similarly, 
any planes parallel to these planes are also called isometric planes. So isometric drawing or isometric view. So the pictorial view can be drawn by true scale is called isometric drawing or isometric view. And in isometric projection, the pictorial view drawn with the use of isometric scale is called isometric projection. So here we have 40 by 40 square. So it's drawn in first angle. So how to draw the isometric view? So first we have created the isometric axis in your right hand side. So first let us start with the front view. So this will be the 40 mm exactly length and then 40 mm. So this is the simplest problem and then proceed with the left hand side view and then join these two lines to complete the top view. So here the isometric drawing of a cube is complete. So this is how we can approach the isometric drawing from the orthographic view. So in a problem usually orthographic views will be given and then based on this orthographic view we will proceed for the isometric drawing. Let us see next. Our aim is a figure is given front view will be given so length and height suppose this is given and instead of square this time we have given rectangle so let us proceed with the dimension given. So in orthographic views whatever dimension are given we will proceed with that dimension and here view it was given L and H. So we will draw first isometric axis and PQ is the isometric axis vertical and PR is the isometric horizontal for RHSV. And that was RHSV and let us see for the LHSV. So we don't use this axis for LHSV we use PS horizontal axis for the LHSV. So this is the basic difference. So we need to understand which way is the LHSV and what axis is required for RHSV. LHSV stands for left hand side view and RHSV stand for right hand side view. So here we will use H same as the previous one and L exactly the length given to draw the left hand side view and we will complete the left hand side view by giving the name and joining the line. So this is the basic left hand side view and right hand side view in isometric. And now we will see the top view. So the top view of a rectangular plane let us given as 100 by 70. So draw it isometric view for left hand side view and right hand side view. So it's given 100 by 70 mm. So the isometric view of the horizontal rectangle plane for the RHSV we will begin with the axis on the left hand side. So let us complete A to B, C to D and then uh, to complete left hand side view we will use the other side of the isometric
and finish the name a b c to d so this will be the basic difference between the top views let us draw a circular isometric view again the circle with diameter 100 is given so how to draw this we have already completed in the last session let us revise it quickly what we have done in the last session that we have to inscribe the circle in a square so we know how to generate the square in isometric plane and then draw diagonals a major diagonal and a minor diagonal so we will start from B and join the other side midpoint let us give a name and same way the other side midpoint giving a name M1 and M2 and from D dash join the other side midpoints giving name N1 and N2 so we found the two intersecting point and from that point we can join we need to generate an arc from C1 by completing M1 to M2 and repeat the same arc from C2 to join N1 and N2 similarly from C3 join M1 and N2 and from C4 M2 and N1 so this way we can complete the circular isometric view and now we will see that how to draw a simple plane isometric view so a figure is given now we will see a variety of figures so here we have a angle known angle that is cut from the rectangle plate and then a known radius cut from that other corner the angle is given 30 degree and we have length is known and then height is known and radius is known so we have to generate RHSV isometric view for the same figure let us see let us give it the name whatever point is required a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash to g dash so we need to create both views left hand side views and right hand side view for the same figure so here it is the figure given let us see the solution first draw the isometric axis at 30 degree angle and give it a name so we have the same length rectangle in isometric view and same height so a b will be a dash b dash so a dash b dash will be the same length so whatever length will be given we will produce that on the topper plane and we will simply join b to g and we will complete the other side and then we have here C dash D dash so we will produce D dash on the C E line somewhere here and we will produce that line up to F so we have known F dash E dash so that will be our radius so we have produced the all the sides and the radius will be remaining so we know that the radius is here it's only a quarter of a circle so that means it will be either a shorter or it will be a larger radius of the rectangle of the rectangle of a circle so let us produce first rectangle of that circle and then draw only quarter of that radius 
in order to complete this f to d radius so we are producing first a rectangle the same steps we have done in order to create the circle in isometric view and from that from point C3 we need to create a small radius as we have done in previous view so this will be the fourth the shorter radius of that circle we don't need the other part so in order to create this radius we have to produce the rectangular method and then inscribe the circle in order to create the one fourth the quarter of the circle in isometric view and let us give a simply the radius so FD with the center C2 let us move further in order to create the other left hand side view it will be the same method but this time it will be the larger it is only the difference will be here and it will be the larger side of the circle let us take another problem now we will see top view of the cut geometric plane the same one for the same view left hand side view and right hand side view so let us learn how to draw a top view for the same geometric plane so let us complete the plane in order to create a rectangular so that is known length L and known height let us say D and known figure the angle as 30 degree also we need to measure the length from 